Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with another video on a movie poster light box. If you watched my first video that I made, it was a uh, uh, kind of a revised version of this frame that I made originally. I mentioned it in, in the first video. This is a uh, obviously parts of the Caribbean video, our uh, movie poster frame. And I made it with a, uh, a cheaper poster frame. Let's see if you can see here. It's, it's kind of a plastic frame. They're, uh, they're available uh, online for purchase. I think they normally run around $40. Uh, but it's a plastic frame. It has like a hardened cardboard backing to it. It comes with a flimsy plastic, uh, it's not plexiglass really, it's uh, more of just a flimsy plastic uh, front uh, cover for it. So uh, when, I, when I first decided to do this, I used uh, this type of a poster uh, frame to make the box. I'm going to show you uh, how it's constructed and, uh, and then I'm going to switch out some of the electronics I put in there. I, I had added a dimmer, uh, LED dimmer to this one. and um, uh, it's a rather big uh, box, the dimmer itself is, and it, and it casts a shadow inside of the poster frame when it's on because it's so large. So I found uh, these new dimmers. Uh, they look like this. I got them out of uh, China. Uh, they're about $4 a piece, but as you can see, the dimmer itself is a really small piece of electronics. Uh, it's the what you see here on the end, uh, this thing right here, and it wires right in, in line with the, uh, uh, the power transformer. Uh, this guy, you run it in one side and out the other to your LEDs, and then it has a little remote uh, that you can control the lights with, so it's much, much smaller, uh, and I, I think it, I'm hoping it'll do a better job. This is the poster frame uh, with the poster removed. As you can see, it's just the picture frame uh, with, you know, the plastic lens, uh, and I mounted it to the box uh, with some small hinges along the side. So I had to do some drilling on the picture frame. I had to buy some of these small hinges and I mounted it so that it could swing open and uh, kind of a better picture of it. Swing open and, and close and I put a little latches uh, at the top and bottom here. They're just the little uh, loop hatches um, with the mounting hardware on this side. Uh, just a little uh, catch to hold, hold them closed. Uh, and I mounted some really small uh, nails. There's cut off nails uh, so that when the picture frames closed, uh, there's some holes that uh, actually catch on those nails to keep it from uh, sagging uh, when it's closed. Now the thing I, I don't care about uh, on this poster and the way I designed it is that the poster just kind of hangs uh, in the front of, of the uh, picture frame. Uh, I just use little small tape bits at the top and bottom to hang it in there then it closes. So. It, it looks okay, but it's not the best. There's nothing to sandwich the poster in between. My, my original uh, plan was going to be get another piece of plastic like this and actually put the poster and put it between two pieces of the plastic and then mount that in the frame. Uh, the problem with that is it's very expensive to buy the, this uh, plastic. Uh, a piece of plastic this size, uh, you know, it's probably a 1 uh, is about uh, 20 bucks. So time you spend, you know, 40 for the poster and another 20 for the, I mean, for the frame and another 20 for the plastic, you're, you're kind of at the point of buying the better frame that I show you in my first video, uh, the snap frame and using that, I, it's, it's not any cheaper and it's much more easy to assemble that way. But I wanted to show you this, the, the back of this box is simply the hard, the, the press board that came on the back of this frame. I disassembled it. I mounted it to the back of the box. Uh, I used some corner braces on this one, uh, mount those to hold the wood together and a place that put a screw uh, up through through the back to hold the uh, back of the poster board on. And I did that in uh, all the corners uh, of the poster frame. Uh, I didn't have four of those at the time, so I just used L brackets on the other corners. You can see those kind of down in there to hold some L brackets. Uh, and then I put these strips, you see, mounted inside here so that the uh, the back of the poster had something to push against when it was screwed down. And then I mounted my LEDs directly onto uh, the back of that. And then I put this dimmer in here that I was telling you about. It's mounted with some Velcro. And uh, uh, originally these were the only electronic dimmers I could find for LEDs that had a little remote. Uh, they were around $10 uh, on Amazon shipped out of China. Uh, I have two problems with this. One, it's, it's kind of big compared to the, the new dimmers that I got, I'm showing you. I mean, this is the dimmer, that's the remote, so that is much smaller 
uh, than this. And so what happens with, this, with, the, with the poster sitting in front of this, it casts a shadow at the bottom of the poster. You can actually see this uh, box in the bottom of the poster. Now, the poster I have in here, the parts of the Caribbean poster, is kind of dark at the bottom, so it's not, uh, not really, really noticeable. But if you look, and, and I know it's there, so I see it all the time. Uh, I can tell. The other problem with this is that once it's plugged in for a few hours, if you turn it off and let it set, it doesn't want to come back on with the remote until you unplug it and plug it back in. I don't know if that's a common problem with these or if it's just something that I have wrong with this one that I ordered. But uh, So I, I'm constantly have to unplug it and plug it back in to get it to work. Hoping I don't have the same problem with this smaller, uh, smaller uh, dimmer. So I'm going to swap it out and, and test it. Uh, at some point I may end up getting either a whole other frame for this, one of the snap frames, or I may end up buying another piece of plastic to hold the poster in the frame better. But I wanted to show you this one. This was the first poster frame I ever did. Uh, like I said, if you watch my other video uh, using the snap frame, it's much better, much easier to assemble. Uh, it took probably half the time to build that box uh, as it took to build this one, and I think it works yeah. much better. The dimmer wired in. Uh, I still have to solder off the connections and tape them up and, and kind of tuck it in out of the way. But just wanted to show you, uh, have the power wire coming in, as you can see, going the plus to the plus, uh, the negative side of the negative side of this DC voltage. Runs through this little chip on here is the uh, actual dimmer. And then out of that into the plus and minus going to my 12 volt, the input of my 12 volt uh, LED lights. And it seems to work. It comes with a little remote looks like this and when you turn it on they light up. It's got dimmer uh, built in so you can manually uh, adjust uh, the brightness up and down. You can press and hold the dimmer and you can see it that it, the brightness will go down. I don't know if that's coming through on the video very well or not but you can see they're almost they're just barely lit now. Turn it back up has presets on the on the remote for um, you know 50 percent, 100 percent, 25 percent. So you can just press 25 percent, 50, or 100. And it's got different modes that I don't know that would be useful at all in in this application, but uh, some different flashing and dimming modes that happen automatically. There's one. There's one. And um, they have you can adjust the speed of, of those effects by pressing the uh, plus and minus speed buttons to slow and speed up the effect. Like I said again, I don't think that um, uh, I'll have a use for those with this. Uh, one application I thought might be neat with that is if you made a now playing uh, a light box to go above the poster or something. Maybe you could use one of those effects uh, for for that, but. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just want to show you. This is the uh, the box with the uh, with the dimmer in it. Uh, I now have to remount the poster and uh, get it hung back on the wall. But uh, just wanted to show you that.